Hi, Chris Pulaski here with Sunshine, the American Cocker Spaniel, and we are on the face. In particular, we're focusing on the eyes. Now we're going to tighten right up on his little eyes. All right. Some things that you need to know are that they should have a very deep stop and a pronounced brow. That little dimple right there, you need to be able to see that. He has kind of a natural patterned out head, which is nice. But things you can do when you don't have that is you can take and bring that clipper right up into the inside corner of the eye and invert a V between there so that you get a nice deep stop, okay? You always want to make sure that you have all the hair cleaned up under the eye. And then when you have the big fur ball top knots, I'll come in and then come flat back. So let's see how it's straight right here back and do that to both eyes and that's going to give you a good start to the proper head on them. You don't want that hair falling forward but you also don't want to roll it back. You want to be able to see that dimple. If you shave too tight you'll shave that right off. Now definition, you can come in and lay it level into that V or into that inside corner of the eye. You see that right in there? Then you can come flat and then you can come flat to the eye again and clean it up with your scissors. Always want to remove those eyelashes. A lot of dirt and debris gets stuck in there. Okay, I'm going to clean this one up as well. Always go with the way the eyelashes grow. That way you're not going to feed that scissor into the eye. It's very hard sometimes because they don't always hold still, but it just looks so much cleaner and nicer. Okay, and then as far as working over the eye, um, you know, take your stripping knife and do as much pulling out of coat as you can, okay? Keep that skin held tight and you want to pluck a lot of that out. That way it's not going to grow back and forward, you know, over the eye. You'll keep that train back. See how nice that lays already? And then you're going to get your 45 tooth blenders. And what I usually like to do is comb everything hard to the side and just anything there in the front, I'm going to cut it flat with the cheek, okay, flat with the cheek. Um, at the end of the process, I will typically comb this top knot forward and just make sure that you don't have anything hanging over the eye on each corner, but I leave that center strip and I prefer to pluck as much as I can over the eye rather than cut it and that way it stays less fuzzy and you're less likely to get that mohawk effect. Okay, thanks. Look at those cute little eyes. Oop.